In this video, we're going to be checking out the Form Builder service. The Form Builder service is really nice for like getting rid of a lot of these new form controls, and instead you could use like an array like this. Uh, it helps minimize our code a little bit. So uh, we'll be setting up the Form Builder in this video. So what we'll do first thing is we'll import our Form Builder, and then we'll inject it into the constructor, and then we'll just generate new form controls. Uh, let's bring in our Form Builder. So let's import our form builder instead of the form control and the form group. We can remove remove that and bring in our form builder. And we're bringing it in uh, from Angular form, same location. And then we'll inject the form builder into our constructor, so private. And you can call this anything you want. It's pretty common to call it FB, and that's going to be our form builder type. So we're injecting our service into the constructor now, and we're getting a bunch of errors here. I'm just gonna comment this out. We'll get rid of this by the end of the video, so I'll just comment that out. And then I'm gonna set up the form builder right here. So I'll just remove this, and it's gonna be equal to this.fb. And then, as you can see here, we have a list of methods to pick from. We're interested in the group. And then it's very similar to what we did uh, before, like we could set up all our controls right here. So instead of having the uh, new form control here, we could replace this with, our, with an array now. So if we go back in here, so let's set up our username. And instead of using new form control, we'll use an array like that. And we could also do the same thing with our password and our confirmed password. And then also you can still nest form groups in here. And instead of using the new form group, we'll just use this FB group. So we'll do almost the exact same thing. So address. And then in here, we'll put all our controls for the address. So street. And that's pretty much it. That's how you want your address to look like. And that's all you really needed to do to set up a form group. And we can remove this now. And these should remain the same now. You, you don't have to do anything with that. So everything should work exactly the way uh, it was working. Uh, let's test this, make sure everything's working. So save. So here in the browser, let's check out the uh, console, make sure everything's still working. So open up the console, we'll fill it out. And we'll make sure this is still working, add autofill our address, and then save. And everything is still being filled out correctly. So now that we add, added form builder, now in the next video, we'll start setting up some form validation. So I'll see you then.